It's about that time. Oh, I'm so tired of hearing little snippets here and there all over the internet for the last couple of days. It's time for me to finally check out this Drake disc to Kendrick Lamar. It is that time. Oh, it is that time. I ain't put these headphones on a long time. Let me turn it up. Drake, talk to him. We got Drake push-ups. Drop it, give me 50. Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, Metro Boomin diss. New audio. I think he disses more people than that, though. Because I heard he diss The Weeknd, Future, and some other people. But I, I could be wrong. It's just, just stuff I've seen on Twitter. So, yeah, it's 3 minutes and 53 seconds. And I am inside it, April. G. Squat. Fist bump. Love y'all. Let's get it. Let's see what you got, Drake. Drizzy Drake, six god, the king of Canada, hip hop royalty, OVO, October's very own. Let's get it started. They say Drake clap back. Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, and Metro Boomin. Listen, you should have just dissed the other dude too. Fuck him. I swear. Oh, if you would have dissed him too. Woo! But okay, that, that kind of don't make sense. That's just me being petty. Okay, let's get into it, man. Push ups. Drop and give me pity. AI or not AI? That is the question. I wake up and then I saw that maybe a Drake AI fucking diss, maybe a real diss. DJ Academics is on it. It's on Complex's fucking Twitter. And I was like, I, I wasn't going to stream today, right? Because I don't feel good. I was like on Twitter and there's no way that I could avoid it type shit, you know? Like there was no way that I could avoid listening to even a single second of the song. Uh, so I was like, bro, I have to record it. I don't know if it's AI. I don't know if it's legit. Uh, legit sources are posting it, but I don't know if they're getting got by how good AI is now. But knowing me and how Drake stan I am, I feel like I'm fairly good at determining whether it's actually Drake's pin or if it's AI's pin. Because you can have Drake's voice, but Drake has a very particular pin. Uh, he has a very particular sound the way he raps is very particular so we'll see three minutes and 53 seconds of dissing the entire industry let's fucking get it okay well shit's really starting to heat up now last week joe budden was talking about this that drake actually had a response ready to come out in the chamber and i didn't believe it because i never believe anything that joe budden says then uh lo and behold this song drops this weekend and i thought for sure it was just another ai response thing because i've heard several of those so i didn't want to take the time to try to break it down or listen to it but apparently this is real academics is going crazy and every tweet on my timeline is about this or kentucky basketball one of the two so we're gonna check this bad boy out today we got drake push-ups dropping give me 50 this track season is still in full effect but Okay, let's dive into this. Apparently he's going after Future, Kendrick, Metro, Boomin, Rick Ross, all these fucking people. So let's do this. Drake, push-ups, drop and give me 50. Bow. Well, 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 bruh, ain't no way, ain't no way that Drake this guy leaked, bruh. I don't know how real this is. But we checking it out anyway. It's all over the internet right now. It's all over the internet. So we gotta check it out before it get deleted. I don't care if it's real or not. This the Drake dish, nigga. <laughs> Yo, look, hey, we gotta hurry up and check this out, bro. Bro, my phone is literally glitching right now. Nigga sending me this left and right. Bro, I had a little bit of inside information that Drake was gonna drop this weekend. They saying it got leaked, but honestly, I think Drake team leaked it. Man, come on, man. Yeah, y'all know how this work, man, but we finna check this out. I ain't finna do no talking. Y'all know it's Drake versus the world right now. A lot of people saying this even Drake versus Cole. A lot of people saying Cole, Cole to switch sides, even though he didn't. But hey, we finna check this out, man. Let's get it. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold up, bro. I want to be I want to be one of the first ones with it out, bro. I knew that nigga was going to respond. <laughs> one thing about Drake, he might not respond to every one of them, but he going to respond. <laughs> nah, yo, hip hop is crazy. 
crazy right now in a good way. Yo, this nigga Drake battling like eight niggas. And somebody just hit me up and was like, yo, Rick Ross dropped a diss on Drake. I'm like, God damn, nigga. 20v1 start to sound about right now. Oh boy. All right. So we got Drake with drop and give me 50. We ain't about to waste no more time. And I already know he not going to apologize. Let's get straight to it. Drake leak. Drake leak. Drake done dissed everybody, but it's a leak. It ain't no. Drake, this you? This how you coming? I thought it was going to be on your official page. Man, that was nothing to never be. Not Aubrey. Not Aubrey Green. I mean, to tell, I mean, I mean, just to tell y'all, we getting straight into it because I promise you, we not finna, what? what? Hey, what did they say? He's not, talking to Kung Fu? They said not a pinky nail. No, I think the pinky nail has, the pinky nail has, the, uh, the pinky. Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. Hey, look, we getting right into it, man. This is out, man. It's ready, man. It, it, it came. Let's, let's get it, man. Let's get it to Drop track, and man. give me 50. The Drake leak is real. Um, I didn't believe it, but I believe it now because I'm currently trying to post it and YouTube is not having it. So uh, if you want to see my original reaction, because I had to chop this motherfucker down to get it posted to let y'all know that uh, this shit is real. Uh, you, if you do it, if you do a little digging in my description box, you'll be able to find the entire reaction to watch for free, of course, man. But, um, <laughs> what up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things, you feel me? Uh, apparently, Drake just leaked. Um, I don't know, bro. That's why I'm not even like trying to get his energy, bro. But like y'all blasting me in my DMs, I type it in on YouTube and it's all through the feed of multiple videos of different pages. Matter of fact, you have, I've clicked on a few and they're, they've been taken down. So I don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. But apparently there's a leak of a diss. I mean, who the fuck is leaking shit like that in 2024? The likes of Drake. <clears throat> but just on case, this is really it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> in the age of AI, you can't believe anything anybody is doing, bro. But... We're going to see. Uh, Drake drop and give him 50. Kendrick diss. Leak 2024. Let go. I'm trying to put you in the worst mood. I pee one cleaner than your church shoes. I look what you got. I'm a motherfucking star boy. I love that shit. All right, sorry. Hey. I could never be nobody number one fan Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand You pussies can't get booked outside America for now I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan I'm the He said I had to put your first number one in your hand, bitch If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be where you are I'm in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan Y'all can't even book a show outside of the America <laughs> Okay, Drake, talk your shit. Ain't nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Hey, I could never 
never be nobody number one fan Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand You pussies can't get booked outside America for now I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan Hold on! Hold on! Oh, shit! He really doing it. This is not no bullshit. He really doing it. So his first number one, you gave it to him. So who you talking about on that? Is that Metro? Definitely not Kendrick. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like Metro. Or it could be Ricky. You say Rick Ross this too. I don't know. Let's keep listening. Damn, Drake really doing this shit. Hey. I can never be nobody number one fan. Yeah. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Uh. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the I wanted him to be on a fucking. If this is real, I wanted him to be on a Conductor Williams beat, low key. Hey, I can no never friends be nobody in the number industry. one fan. It's this, this this sounds like no friends in the industry, which is a Kanye diss. So, hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I don't know how many times I gotta fucking say it, guys. And I know you don't like to hear it, especially on YouTube for some reason. Y'all think that I'm cocky because I say that I'm the greatest at this reaction shit, regardless of numbers, regardless of subscribers. I literally said the same shit in the Kendrick Lamar and fucking J. Cole diss. I said that it's ironic that Kendrick is going after Drake when the label on the original shit was like, damn, we really don't have anything marketable here. Let's get Drake on the line and put him on fucking Poetic Justice. I said that two weeks ago. What's crazy about his first shit, though, classic, but the label was like, we still need Drake on this bitch. Did they not do that? Did they not say, ah, this shit is gas, but there's not really anything to, like, promote the album like that. Let's put Drake on fucking Poetic Justice. Kind of ironic. Fuck! I'm good! <laughs> Number one fan, your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because you can't I'm get booked outside Japan. America, bro. I mean, All right. Ooh, a lot of tension. I'm feeling the tension. Hey. I could never be nobody uh. number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Uh. Pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Mm. I'm the I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Oh Lord, bro. Hey. Oh Lord, future, future, future. Future. <laughs> J. Cole, take notes, nigga. Take notes, nigga. Hold up. Hold up. He started out the rip this in future. Nigga, I gave you your first number one, nigga. I can never be your number one fan. Stop playing. Hold up. Drake's tired of it. He's tired of it. Look, I could never be nobody number one fan. Yeah. The first number one I had to put it in. Nigga. <laughs> this is funny, yo. <laughs> hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, first line, nigga. Great right. translation. Future. You nigga, watch your mouth. Let's go, Drake. <laughs> Let's go, Drake. <laughs> oh, nigga, Black Air Force over 9,000. All right, so in the Future Metro album, the first song, Future was like, uh, you my number one fan dog. And he kept putting dog at the end of every line. The Drake album, all right. And then he was like, I don't need another fake friend dog. Something like that. I like it, Drake. 
good rebuttal. That's a good start. So Drake said, nigga, no. I'm not your number one fan, nigga, but what I did do is put that number one in your hand. Which means the only reason you saw number one on the chart is because of me, nigga. See? And that's the thing. And I said this in the past. You could call Drake soft. You could crack on the whole fingernails. You know, uh, him being extra light skin. The ghost writing, which I'm not gonna lie, it's getting old to me. It's kind of like using addiction for Eminem. It's old to me, bro. But what you can't do, and you're gonna lose every time, is numbers and resume. It cannot be an angle with Drake, bro. It don't work. <laughs> it, I'm sorry, bro. That's what you're gonna lose every time. Hey. I could never be nobody number one fan Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand Woo! You pussies can't get booked outside America for now I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan Never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Is that the uh Kendrick? It makes me think of like poetic justice. Is that Kendrick's first hit? They hit make a yacht a pand on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Oh! <laughs> ah! Oh, okay, don't do that too long. Okay, that started to burn a little bit. But yo, hi, right, Drake. All right, talk straight to him. He said, how you big step and you wear size seven? Let's let this thing play. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven man zone? Mm. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven man zone? <laughs> Kendrick Lamar's album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Kendrick Lamar apparently has little feet. And he's a, a shorter guy, but that's okay. The motherfucker can rap. He can rap. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven man zone? In the head, make a yacht a pand on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven man zone? This the fuck. Oh, oh shit! Like <laughs> wow! Bitch, I like that. No, he did. Like that. No, he did. I like that. Drake, Drake, <laughs> come on now! Oh, this is wow! This is wow! Hold on, tell me it ain't true. Don't tell me Kendrick wear a goddamn size seven. That's embarrassing. I'm, I'm. If he do, I'm stripping the king of hip hop title away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so I'm giving it back to Jay Z. If you wear a fucking size seven, my nigga, I'm so. Oh, this is bad. I, I, what Wikipedia at? I, I, I gotta see if this nigga wear a size set. Man, Drake exposing motherfucking nigga. You not no man. You a little boy. What the fuck? <laughs> Ain't off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Huh? The hit make a yacht a pand on. Backstage Ooh. in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Just the part with the bite, man. I'm the hit make a yacht a pand on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Just the part with the bite. Okay, nigga. okay. Obviously, in reference to Kendrick's album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, how are you big stepping with a size 7 men's on, making fun of his height and his small feet? A size 7 is basically a child shoe. I wear a size 12. I can't imagine a shoe being 5 inches shorter than my shoe. That's crazy. But yeah, Drake is immediately at the gate, big bro, and all these guys. I had to give you your first number one. I think he's talking about future right there. And he's saying, like, I'm big worldwide. I get booked in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. You don't get booked out of the U.S. for nothing because nobody fucking knows you outside of the U.S. And then we've also got this line right here about how backstage it was friendly. You didn't do shit to me, but you talk all this stuff about how you're gonna take somebody's chain and all this shit two different people but yeah i love this flow and the pianos coming in right there those are some sick pianos in the background okay very solid start to a great sounding diss track so far i'm the hit maker y'all depend on tough on record in my city it was friends on you won't never take no chain off of us how the fuck you been stepping with a size seven man zone this the part with <laughs> Kendrick! 
A size seven man. <laughs> That's a kid shoe, nigga. Facts. <laughs> yo, yo, what is going on? Yo, this can't, bro. This can't be life. This can't be life. I'm the hit maker, got a band on. Yeah. my city, it was friends on. Take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite. <laughs> Rebuttals. Drake. I like it, yo. That's a huge check mark on a diss track. What Kendrick said, uh, snatch your chains and burn the tattoos. Then he used the big stepper. Then you saying the size seven shoe. Y'all know niggas crack on Kendrick's height. Okay. All right. Let's keep in mind. This is Drake. All right, okay, cool. Two people down, like 10 more to go. <laughs> I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite. With the bite, nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop it, give me 50 likes of push ups. Hood, your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. This the part with the bite, nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop it, give me 50 likes of push ups. Hood, your last one brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You bet this the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for red. You been shook up. This top told you drop it. Give me 50 likes of push ups. Hood, your last one brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract. Cause we gotta see the split The way you doing splits Bitch, your pants might rip You better do that motherfucking sh I ain't gonna lie I ain't gonna lie Bar wise It's kind of it's kinda simple It's kind of corny right The way you doing splits Your pants might rip But when you take into effect The double And the contract And the money that he's making Opposed to the money that he's making Other people It works And it's fire Sorry, my nigga. It works. Get mad, bitch. Get mad because a light-skinned singing nigga is shitting on your motherfucking guy. Yeah, it's really happening. It's really happening. Woo! Oh, my God. He doing it. Shit, they make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Yeah. Pull your contract, cause we gotta see the split. Yeah. The way you doing splits, yeah. bitch, your pants might rip. Part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop it, give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool. Oh my god, bro. Extortion baby. The oh my god. I know my pictures on y'all wall when y'all cook up. Do y'all play sports? And then like whenever you got like your rival team coming up the rival team like you like you circle it on your calendar like this is the big game that we're looking forward to that's basically what he's talking about right here this rap game is a sport and y'all got me circled on your fucking calendar don't ever forget it Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop it, give me 50 likes of push ups. Hood, your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Hey. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking shit. <laughs> this the part with the bite, nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop it, give me 50 likes of push ups. Hood, your uh. last one brick, you really Really not on shit. They uh. make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Uh. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better <laughs> do art with the right nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for real. You been shook up. This top so you drop and give me 50 like some push ups. Oh. Nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, ho 
smoke a red, you been shook up. This top told you drop it, give me 50 lights of push ups. Hood, your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking shit. Okay, that's another one I missed out on. Money. You can't talk money with Drake. So in other words, let's talk the splits. Let's pull up the contracts. Let's see how much you really accumulate into that bank account. Let's compare, what's up? By the way, I am neutral now. All right, the last time I voted for a nigga, he apologized, I'm cooked. We out the game. <laughs> All right, my nigga folded, we're done. And I also said previously that uh, Mr. Morale, it let a lot of people down, for sure. And I said this also that I think a lot of us was just expecting the old K-Dot, and of course that wasn't it. Funny, we just had different expectations for what we was gonna get. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. This top so you drop it, give me 50 likes of push ups. Hood, your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract, cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. This the part with the bite, nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Oh, oh, hold on. You think that, you think that. Got two teeth with me, we snatch your chase and burn it tattoo. It's up. He said you would never snatch. <laughs> he said he's in with a size seven. How you the big stepper? You gotta be careful though, cause we all know Baby Joker. Hey, and, and Baby, Baby Joker, Joker stood on business. He did. He said no more <laughs> lock door. Do this look like the fucking Seven Eleven homes? Homes? The 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 titties? As in titties? Do you want to count hundreds and fifties? Or or see the titties? <laughs> Count the green or, or get in between. Get in okay, between. okay, listen. We own, man. We own. Yeah, we on, just man. Saying, man. You Let's never, cook. You never know, Drake. Let's cook. Let's cook, Drake. You talking. You talking. Never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man's on? This the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby. Hope for red. You been shook up. This top so you drop it. Give me 50 likes of push ups. Hood, huh, your last one brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that. It's a huh. Did Drake just say, huh? He literally said, huh? He said, huh? And he said, Don't something say about it. your contract. <laughs> he said, something about the contract. The M's hit different with baby device the pie. That's what he's saying to you, yeah. like how Pusha T said to him. <laughs> yeah, I ain't like that one. Drake fans watching right now, like, how the Why fuck could you? even bring that up? That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. And you're right. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Yeah. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. No way, dog. This, this is AI. This is AI. It, it sound like Drake, though. The beat sound like some shit. It, nah, bro, but ain't no way, dog. Drake would not be this corny in a fucking diss record, bro. You a big stepper, but your size seven... Even his little hashtag bars is weak as fuck, bruh. What do you say? You a big stepper, size seven. I want to see your split. They like your pants. Your pants might split. <laughs> this better be some AI, bruh. This better be some AI, dog. Do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Pip squeak pipe. Drop and give them 50. Drop and give them 50 obviously means, you know, give me 50 push ups. Um, but is he, he also saying that TDE, his label, everybody else get 50% of. Yeah. One brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract, cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. Ooh. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Uh. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top I say drop, you better drop and give him 50. Did you write this strike? <laughs> I ain't trying to be me, but die.
He said, Maroon 5 need a verse. You better get it, make it witty. Now we need a verse for the Swifties. All the top, drop it, give me 50. Or give them 50. Oh my God. And then he talked about doing the splits. Talk about his record deal and shit. How they, the split, the money split. Do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. But won't fight, need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. But won't fight, need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. But won't fight, need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Oh my god, bro. Honestly, didn't think about the fact that Drake has never had to write a verse for anybody outside of the genre that he didn't feel like he needed to or wanted to. I didn't think about that till right fucking now. Maroon 5, Taylor Swift. I forgot that Kendrick has done those things. I still think it's AI, but shit is gas. Like he don't Drake don't even got to drop now. If this is not a if this is not actually Drake and this is AI, AI just did everything for him. The huh, that is such a fucking crazy ad lib, bro. It's crazy because like uh Kendrick's ad libs are like that and shit. I don't know. This is the way that Drake would rap. Okay, this is the way that Drake would diss. J Cole definitely has like I respect you too much and I want to protect my own peace. So the diss was like a warning shot and it wasn't really that strong of a diss. That we're not even halfway through this song and this song is already infinitely better than the than the than j cole's diss because drake don't give a fuck drake don't give a fuck about no positive energy drake's drake i need him to go out the entire fucking industry and slay them all so that way i could have been right my entire life i could have been right my entire life when i said that he's the goat and i know it makes fucking rap motherfuckers mad when i say that but he's the goat won't fight need a verse you better make it witty then we need a verse for the swifties top say drop you better drop and give them 50 <laughs> better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. But won't fight, need a verse, you better make it win. Oh my god. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Oh man. Just the way he changed his voice right there was very nice. Going at the angle of him kind of doing these pop verses because he did the Bad Blood for Taylor Swift. He actually redid his verse for the Taylor's version of the album rather recently. He also did the verse for Maroon 5. So he's like, you can't be this hardcore rapping dude and do all these pop verses for these people. Your last one, Brick, talking about Kendrick's last album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, because it didn't really land with the public like his other albums have. And then saying that people are making excuses because they hate to see that Drake is winning. You're like, oh, you don't really understand it. It's too conceptual for you. That's why you don't like the album. Then we got this little split scheme right here talking about his label contract i guess saying that he's not really making as much money as he could be because the splits that he's doing is like spreading his legs open i guess it's kind of a gay bar and then the line top say drop you better drop and give him 50 top being top dog entertainment kendrick's last label saying that whatever the hell they want to do they have him by the balls because they have his whole catalog so you better drop him give him 50 if they tell you to okay we got some cool angles going on so far <laughs> Dre, bro, Dre, Dre, you got to smile, bro. You got to smile. That nigga said, we're going to start pulling you niggas' contracts. We're going we gonna to see what, what y'all splitting with these labels. We're going to start doing that, nigga. We're going to see you really get money. Y'all. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. They just see me hit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. Fucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Pips. Okay, he on Kendrick neck. <laughs> Kendrick does have a song with Taylor Swift. Um, is it Bad Blood? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. But what's crazier is I'm pretty sure Future actually has a song with Taylor and Maroon 5. So this bar could just go for both of them. Yes, he does. He sure do. Yes, Future has one with Maroon 5. And yeah, he got a feature on there with Taylor Swift. So yes, the bar... It go for both of them. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50.
You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty But won't fight, need a verse, you better make it witty Then we need a verse for the Swifties Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50 It's, it's make the concept yeah, yeah. Drake is a conceptual, yeah, he, yeah, you got strategic it. person. He drove here in the play AR app. The drop and give me fifty, <laughs> and he and what he's doing, he's trying to create a divide between Top Dog. Oh, you and, got it. You got a divide in, in Con because con yeah. that's in the yeah, it's in the uh, those yeah. are the laws it's of power. The, yeah, you gotta so you you gotta know how to do it. So when he says drop and give me fifty, he said everything you do, Top gonna get fifty of it. So you better go do it. So you can yeah, get your 50 get your portion. Yeah. Kendrick ain't taking this, man. So you can so your mind can get messed up. Yeah. <laughs> get on your nerves. It's time to mess your mind. Trying to play with your your yeah. mental health. Show inside the bitty. But won't fight, need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Pip squeak, pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. Pimp squeak, pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Come on, no, they don't. No, they don't. Travis Scott is 21 Savage is better than Kendrick. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. No big three, scissor got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down, Savage got you wiped down. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' Like your label, you in a scope right now. Inner scope, the record label, but you're in the scope. That bar's kinda played out, I ain't gonna lie, but Savage got you wiped down Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down I'm at the top Now that was fire And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down Aftermath, inner scope That was fire Nice Boy, you in a scope right now And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down Pimp squeak, pipe down You ain't in no big three Scissor got you wiped down Travis got you wiped down Savage got you wiped down Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down I'm at the top You did go crazy Pimp on that Swifty bar down. You ain't in no big three Scissor got you wiped down Travis Ooh. got you wiped down Savage got you wiped down Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now And you gon' feel that Like your label, you're in the scope right now? <laughs> I thought he had his own label, PG Lang. Is that a record label? Is Interscope doing the distribution? I don't know. I don't know like the complexities of the PG Lang fucking shit that goes down. Oh, big three, scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you Interscope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. <laughs> I'm at the pimp squeak pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis ah. got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. Uh. I'm at pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Yo! J. Go! Why? Why, nigga? This is what we needed from you, nigga. This is what we needed. This is what we needed. Thank you, Drake. Thank you, nigga. Real or not, thank you. But what the hell? J. Cole, this all you had to do. This all you had to do. We need a verse for the Swifties. Top say try, you better try to get 50. Pips we pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, nigga, you in the scope. In the man, we done heard that bar a million times. Shout out Eminem. Big 
Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I wrote. Oh, that's wait, 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 wait. Drake has changed. This is scary, Drake. Now he said you are in the scope now. Did like, you hear the music house start getting started? Just yeah, like yeah, your yeah, label, yeah, you are in the scope. He's is, scary uh, Drake. He's literally monstering is. down the street. Yeah. The beat imagine, is made to make you feel like he walk into your house like these. Imagine Drake. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. Drake, that's kind of funny, man. Oh, he said, just like your label, you are in the scope right now. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning and you ain't crazy, independent, yeah. dog. And, and guess what? That beam on you right now. <laughs> Why SZA had to come into it? No, they it, people got to come in. That's, see people what I'm saying? That's in. that divide again. That's how it, no, when SZA you whooping speak, your ass in numbers. Savage whooping your ass in numbers. If you ask me, that I, if you tell me I better have three switches, then I got to have three switches, right? And with three switches. Drake had to come with three switches. Granny used to get switches. I know. They, bullet, bullets bullets didn't come out, though. It still sounded like... Come on now, whisk past you. Yeah, you ain't even he had to duck them she switches. Since I got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now, and you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. Pip squeak pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Since I got you pip squeak pipe down. Stop getting frustrated. Stop getting frustrated. This this got to be AI, but I'm already here, bro. So let's run through the rest of it, dog. If this ain't AI, bro, if this isn't AI and this is really Drake, um, oh, shut up. Just get, just get get through the rest of it, dog. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Oh! Mike then and Mike now. Oh! He said, look, bro, I'm so up here, bro. Like, I got to climb down just to come and address you, bro. And let's keep going. This talk with your ass, I had to hike, hike down. down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. Oh, Kendrick responded to Drake's line saying that he's one away from Michael, nigga, beat it. Kendrick came back, responded with Prince I live, Mike Jack, nigga, bum. That's where that came from. Talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Ooh. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between... Damn! He said he's at the top of the mountain. Ju uh, just to have this conversation with you, I had to hike down. <laughs> Mountain, so you tight now, just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down Big difference between Mike then and Mike now What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king, he a son, nigga? Get more love He flipped it on Kendrick Cause Kendrick said Prince out there, Michael Jackson, Mike Jack And then he just said, big difference between Mike then and Mike now, what's a prince to a king, a son? Oh my, king of pop was Michael Jackson. He's saying he's the king of rap and he's son and Kendrick. No, it's a double. Oh my God. I want Kendrick to respond. It's a 20v1 nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son nigga. Top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this? A 20v1 nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son nigga. Get top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. Oh my god, bro. He said, I'm at the top of the mountain just to have this conversation with you. I had to hike down? <laughs> I had to hike down is fucking crazy. And Interscope, Aftermath, Shady Records, Lady, you know, Interscope, Aftermath. Yes, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love. <laughs> I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the oh fuck my god, <laughs> just to 
have a talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Nice little turn on a short joke. He's got a couple short jokes that he said already, like Pipsqueak piped down the size 7 shoe. He had to hike down just to talk to him. <laughs> that is just funny. But yeah, I've heard this bar before. You're in the scope right now. Interscope Records, Interscope. And then he had Aftermath right there, which is a part of Interscope Records. Nice little record scheme going on there. But saying that is better than him, Travis Scott's better than him, 21 Savage is better than him, that they deserve to be in the top three rather than Kendrick. I don't know about that. But it's just downplaying somebody, which is what you gotta do in diss tracks. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Oh! I ain't gonna lie. Not the most lyrical. Like I said, this is Drake. Dude, this is a solid diss so far. He doing what he's supposed to do. But I like to play on inner scope, but in the scope. Like, yeah, you in my scope. Yeah, you in the crosshead now. Yeah. Which Kendrick was under, and then Aftermath. Okay, y'all get it. Then he said, I'm on top of the mountain, and I gotta hype down. <laughs> Crack another <was> short joke. <laughs> That's a good ass rebuttal. That's tough. Okay. I'm being neutral, I promise. That's a good ass rebuttal though. Cause y'all know Kendrick said Prince outlive Mike Jack and that was a haymaker. But literally status wise was a prince to a king. And y'all know Mike was the king of pop. But what makes it even tougher is Mike Jack got a son named Prince. That's why he said you a son like that's crazy. That's a cook bro. Big hey. difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20 V1 nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son nigga. I'm at the top of the mountain so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass I had to hike down. Mm. Big different swing Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20 V1 nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son nigga. He said, what shit. is this a 20 verse 1? What is this a 20 verse and 1? And I seen your 20 verse 1 too on YouTube Drake. It was bad. Oh wow, he had one for real. Just, just go, go, but, go and put it Drake twenty verse one. Word, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check that out. But to yeah. get to that bar, I'm not gonna let that go because y'all be like, what are y'all talking about? Literally, bro, the Mike Jack response was heard. Ah, oh, yeah, like if you because he threw the Mike Jack first. He said Prince is better, and everybody know Mike was the king of pop. So he like, what the fuck is a prince to a king? You a son? See how the ladder go down? I'm just going just, just for y'all love. Bar, bye heads. Damn, what's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. That was a bar. What's a prince? What's a prince to a king? He a son. That was a bar. That's that was that's a Drake type hashtag bar. That's some Drake type of shit. Having like inside information on what's going on between people makes me think that it's, it could be some Drake or some Drake shit or somebody that's within the know of what the hell they got going on, dog. But this shit is garbage, bro. This shit is garbage. It's garbage for Drake standards. He's, he's moving on to future and other folks now. So I'm thinking he's not even taking taking any more shots at K-Dot, bro. So we're going to run the rest of it through, dog. But I really hope this isn't Drake. I really hope this is AI. Because if this is Drake, this is going out sad, bro. This is like one of the worst diss tracks I've ever heard from Cuz, bro. All these little cookie cutter whack ass basic bars if this was really drake if i was k-dot i wouldn't even respond to this bro this isn't worthy of a response to me bro like the shit that k-dot did and like that cleans this bro you know what i mean this is some bullshit this is like some high school drama type shit Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums nigga yeah i'm gonna get more love in the city that you find nigga Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm a. <laughs> Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums. <laughs> Cause he's a producer. City that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Get more love in the city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. <sighs> Metro,
that was light on Metro, you know, shut your ass up and make some drums. That was light, but I don't really give a fuck about the Metro shit. They just just throw everybody in there. Just this stuff like a motherfucking gumbo. It's like a damn disc gumbo. What the fuck? Damn, I wish I actually paid attention and know what be going on. Let's uh, say. I don't know what Metro did to Drake or said to Drake, but I guess since he made the beat, he part of it. Okay, it's fair game. We do it one fair. Get him. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the sixth guy. I'm a front runner. Y'all nigga manager with Chuz Lil Blunt. Oh man, catching strays like crazy. I love he's just like Metro. What? Why are you just shut up? And make drums. Why are you even involving yourself in this? Just shut up. That was hilarious. So yeah, big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What's a prince to a king? He a son. This is obviously referencing the whole that Drake is calling himself Michael Jackson and Kendrick's calling himself Prince. Michael Jackson was the king of pop. He's saying that he's the king of rap. A prince is literally the king's son. Nice little flip right there. Then the whole twenty v one. Because like I said, he's going after Future, Kendrick, Metro Booming. He's going after Rick Ross. Like all these different people are going at him at the same time. Gotta be kind of flattery. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Up in the city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this the fucking Drake. Nigga, this, hey. Now, nah, this, this is the Drake I like, man. Y'all like to say I hate on Drake. I don't hate on Drake. I just be wanting this Drake right here, man. This is Drake we know and love right here. Stop playing. Drake never lost the rap battle. No, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Pause. 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 Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. We, we ain't going to talk about that. Well, Drake, you winning right now. We ain't going to talk about that L you took. We ain't going to talk about it. We ain't going to talk about how nigga made you be a better. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't going to talk about it. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. Hold up. Hold up, bro. This is too much. This is too much. It's a 20 v one nigga. What's a prince to a king? You a son, nigga. I get more love in a city that you from, nigga. Oh, my God. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. <laughs> yeah. That nigga said Metro. He ain't even, he ain't even out to this Metro. He just said, shut your whole ass up, nigga. Shut your whole ass up and go make some drums, nigga. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. Drake might, Drake might be the goat to this track. Drake might be one of the goats to this tracks, bro. Like, he, he gotta be. He gotta be, man. Cause he, hey, bro calling names and all. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm a six guy. Breathe, T. Breathe. Breathe, yo. Breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what make that funny, right? <laughs> so for future, right? Y'all know it was bars for future. Kendrick is bars, nigga. This nigga. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yo, he cleared Metro so fast. <laughs> Energy wasted on Metro. So you know for future is I ain't your number one fan, nigga. I put number one in your hand. <laughs> Kendrick, you got the big steppers and the size seven, the Prince Mike Jack joint and a scope, nigga. We get the Metro. <laughs> nigga, if you sit the fuck down and make a beat. <laughs> be crying bro <gasps> breathe t mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Yo, he did metro the worst just now i'm telling you bro no energy spent on that just now i don't even think that was part of the lyrics bro <laughs> he just felt like throwing that in there <laughs> that nigga looking like metro what you talking for nigga oh yo drake you funny for this one yo this is a solid response right here get more love in a city that you find nigga <laughs> Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the sixth guy. I'm the front. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. He already did. That's a lot. Metro uh -oh. unpacked. Do -do 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 hey, he did enough. Metro, I'm, I'm curious <laughs> to understand enough. how do you respond to that bar. All right. It can't be Twitter. So when the beat... You gotta make the beat diss this nigga more. But Drake is he 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 cool he funny with that them type of bars. Mm -hmm. so he'll just come in and just bring you in like man, just, 
He had just make it seem like you ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Fact. It's crazy that this was about the big three. Now everybody just getting slapped. Oh, cause everybody got on that album and talked they shit. Is. Get more love in the city that you find, nigga. Make sure shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Six God, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Damn. Playing a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. What the fuck? Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Ooh. Yeah, I'm the six God, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Playing a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Play the six and you ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Damn. Playing a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you. Now it's this is the weekend. He says shit we do for bitches, he do for dudes. Chains, whip, something wicked, 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 wicked. <laughs> You had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. What the fuck? Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Yeah, I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. What the fuck? Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Yeah, I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Uh. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. I get more love in the city that you from, nigga. Oh my God. Shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. No. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Oh. Claim the six and you boys ain't even come for me. Oh my god. I'm a front runner. Y'all nigga manage over chance, no blunt runner. Claim the six and you boys ain't even come for me. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, they were red out here tricking. Should we do for bitches? He doing for niggas. Chess, switch, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Yeah, I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Oh, Spinning yeah. like you trying to. Oh, wicked, wicked. Uh, future song. But Cash is, um. The weekend's manager. When I was on stream, people said like the weekend took a little shot at Drake. This is another rebuttal. Let's get third person out the way. No, actually fourth. We cover future. We cover Metro. We cover Kendrick. And now we on the weekend. So it sounds like Cash has been blowing the weekend's money on tricking men. And if you don't know what tricking means, it's pretty much like not buying you. Yeah, buying something could be it, but it's more like doing something for sex. So sound like Drake knows some sh Okay. Cash blowing able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. What the fuck? Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Yeah, I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Playing a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Mm. Cash blowing able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. What the fuck? Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Oh, he got my guy. Hey, Abel, I thought you... I didn't really hear the weekend really take a shot for real. Yeah, the, but no, I didn't really listen either, yeah, so I, I don't care. Didn't. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Personally. Like, but yeah, he definitely... Yeah. He said, he definitely can't he said my boy uh, Abel out here doing things for niggas that they do for bitches. But hey, don't, don't, play, wicked, with, wicked, don't wicked. play with weekend, though. He'll come back... Uh, I'm with, trying to put you in the worst mood, I, P1 cleaner than your church. Come back and then, 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 it'll be Michael Jackson. Tell me what you really, really like. like. Really nobody say. 
Michael. 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 Michael.
kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches I be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit, ayy I be with some bodyguards like Whitney Top say drop your little midget ass, better fuck it He said I be with some bodyguards like Whitney Whitney Houston played in the movie The Bodyguard a long time ago And that's when she did the song I will always love you I can't say and then Whitney is Kendrick's wife or girl. Man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. Hey, I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass. Better fuck it. Hey, baby, drop and give me 50. Hey, drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Hey, niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Hey, niggas really. He said they really got me out here talking like I'm 50. 50 cent. Drop and give me 50, ay. niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50 ay. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living Tell me about no switches, I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney Top say drop your little midget ass, better fuck it ay. Hey, this is wild though. The whole premise and context of the hook and the push-ups dropping give me 50. This this is wild, especially coming from Drake. Because he in a position where I, I, I don't know if he in complete um control of when he dropped and what he can do with his albums and stuff like that. But if he is, that this is crazy. Drop and give me 50, ay. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Ay. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. Every fucking chain I own next busy, ayy. And this whole every chain I own next visit shit, this is just not, this is just not it right here. I mean, it's not that it's not it, but it's not Drake. Yeah, I know Kendrick's name, Kendrick's wife's name is Whitney, and then the Whitney bodyguard, that might be over some of you Gen Z's heads, but that's fuck, Whitney wrote the song for the movie Bodyguard with Kevin Costner. I be with some bodyguards like Whitney, top say, drop your little midget ass, better fuck it. Tell me about no switches, I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. Hey, I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass, better fuck it. Oh, a little whisper. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Huh. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. Damn, Damn dude, I don't I didn't want to stop it. He was really going off right there. I love that little whisper that he does right there. He did that in the first person shooter too. But yeah, we got this whole little scheme right here saying that he's spending money on dudes like he would be for a woman, like he's trying to fuck them. Like he's buying them jets, cars, chains, like he's doing all this stuff to try to impress them like he would with the female that he's trying to have sex with. And then this whole little wicked, wicked, wicked thing. I did see that on Twitter where it's kind of making fun of Future in a song that he had. Admittedly, that is kind of where I get out of the loop of everything because I'm not really aware of Future's catalog. Like, I don't know who Chubbs is. Like, there's gonna be some stuff like that that I don't know because I'm not as familiar with this part of the scene. But I do like this little line about him saying that they claim that they're from the 6th, the area that Drake is from, and saying that when they got rich, they had to run from the area. Like, they were never actually from the area. They're scared of it. And they finally got some money to get away, and they bounced and don't even look back. Now, I do know about this line right here, which is pretty dope. Shit'll probably change if a BM start to kiss and tell. BM standing for baby mama, and kiss and tell is a song that Sierra made, and Sierra and Future were together. I don't know if they ever got married, but I know they were together because I'm a big football fan, and I know that Russell Wilson has to raise basically Future's kid, but Sierra had the song Kiss and Tell, the double entendre right there. And then Drake saying that he'll rock every single chain that he owns and put it on his body the next time he's around them just to show that they will not do shit. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I mean, I don't switch this, I be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. Oh my Tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy. Hey, I'll be with some y'all. He is rebuttaling. I know somebody called this week. I know it. I know it. I know it. I'm gonna say it again. This is actually a solid response, yo. But he rebuttaled the uh the three switches that Kendrick said. So he's like, I don't wanna hear about no switches now. Come on, bruh. And then going back to the whole uh snatch of chains thing. Drink like nigga, I'm gonna wear every single chain next time. <laughs> And Drizzy Chippendale probably got your bitch in nail. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chip and nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy, ayy. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney Top. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Okay. That nigga just took the gloves off. Right? Whitney is Kendrick Shorty, but he's playing off of Whitney Houston because she has a movie called The Bodyguard. Now, this type of line wouldn't have got crossed with J. Cole and Kendrick. At this point right now, oh, Drake do not give a f this nigga is 1v10 right now, whatever. <laughs> you feel me? Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit, ayy. Hey, I be with some bodyguards like Whitney, Top say drop your little midget ass, better fucking, ayy. Hey. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit, ayy. I be with some bodyguards like Big Me, Top Safe, drop your little midget ass, better fucking, ayy. Baby, drop and give me fit, drop and give me fit, drop and give me fit. Wait, you don't know what I like? Your little midget ass. That's Even crazy. with y'all, this is what I give you, I'm Drake. parched. This is what I give you, Aubrey. Is that you can't neglect the fact that this is, he's talking about a lot of people, but he never forget to... Reel it back in to Kendrick. It's gonna, it's gonna come back the to his bottom little, line. The little is, midget. If top, <laughs> the bottom, the underlining tone of this song, the, and oh yeah, if top say drop dog, it's like little midget ass it's like going top. out to eat. You had your appetizers, you had all them things, but the main course is is no ditty. It's Kendrick Lamar. He's gonna bring it back to you. No diddler. No diddler. It's you. Let's get it. Wait, hold. Little part just got back from Sweden. All right, let's get it again. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm fifty. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a couple like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning fifty. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay about my business, nigga. Shout out to the. Oh, he just went at Ross hard and. He's not even lying. Check this out. He got three of Drake records in his top five. Let's start with five. Stay scheming. Stay scheming. Y'all know that. Aston Martin Music and Money in the Grave. All of them has Drake. Damn, bro. He merged you with facts. Get on a chart he got from Jizzy. Spend that little check. You got to stay up out my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Damn. I might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he I might take your latest girl a cuffer like a Ricky. That's Rick Ross, cause he was a CEO, a corrections officer. I used to be one low 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 time ago. It was terrible, horrible. If you wanna hear my experience as a CEO, watch my reaction to Lupe Fiasco, Prisoner Wanted 2. I tell y'all the whole experience of how terrible it was and a bunch of crazy shit that happened. But now he's talking about Rick Ross. He said, cover like a Ricky. <laughs> Damn. Me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl and cover like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. And he keeps saying top and top dog. Top dog entertainment. Kendrick Sub label. Come on, bro. Busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. I might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Jizzy. Spend that little check. You gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be. Hold on. Uh, see how. Man, maybe I should just be a social media motherfucker, cuz. I don't be knowing what be going on. What did did Ross say something to um Drake or something? What do Ross got to do with this? I don't know. See, is what it is. Party got from Jizzy. Spend that little check. You gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. Can't believe like he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Jizzy. Spend that little check. You gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper. 
Rick Ross is getting it right here. Either Rick Ross or Future because they're both old heads. I think it's Rick Ross. I think Rick Ross is actually of the age to be almost 50. And most of Rick Ross's money, if we're being honest, most of his biggest hits are Drake features. Outside of the one fucking track, 222. I don't think I could tell you a Rick Ross fucking track like that. Rick Ross is like future to me. Like, I'm not listening to a whole album of this motherfucker. And if we're being completely honest, like he sounded good on Kanye's track. What's Devil in a New Dress? He sounded good on that on that motherfucker. But what the fuck was he talking about that whole verse? Can somebody tell me? You can't because he's just fucking word soup. But it sounds fire. Looking at your bitch, I bet she give your ass a bone. Looking at my wrist, said it turn your ass to stone. Stretched Rose, he was sipping Rose all alone. I feel like Rick Ross makes way more money from Wingstop. <laughs> so Wingstop shits than he does from rap and i feel like drake if this was truly a drake i feel like if this was truly a drake track he would mention that like keep your fat ass over there with wing stop leave the rap money to me this girl a cuff like on ricky can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50 every song that made it on a chart he got from drizzy spend that little check you gotta stay up out my business nigga shout out to the hooper that be busting out the gritty we know why you mad nigga i ain't even tripping Ooh. all that little hard broken twitter shit for bitches this for all the top dog dropping give me Bro, this for all the top dogs dropping give me 50 is so crazy because he's going after like basically everybody who's anybody in their respective sp position. So obviously that's a John Morant diss right there. And obviously John Morant is one of the superstars in the league. Rick Ross is one of the biggest names. Kendrick's obviously top three. Future's most influential trap artist of all time. Metro Boom is probably the number one producer in the fucking game right now. But also Top Dog was the name of Kendrick's label before he went PJ L before he went PG Lang. Like all these different like there's moments in here where I'm like damn this sounds just like Drake but then there's moments in here where I'm like damn this doesn't sound like Drake at all. So just the fact that I have that doubt makes me think that this isn't real, but he's going crazy. Shit for bitches, this for all the top dogs, drop and give me 50, drop, drop. I might take it latest, girl, a cuff for like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Ah. Every song that made it on a chart, he got from Drizzy. <laughs> Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Oh, that's the Rick Ross shots. That be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga, I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. <laughs> Drop and give me 50 drop. Uh, damn. In that fucking song, y'all Damn, so uh, for all the top dogs, top dog entertainment saying that everybody on that label, drop and give him 50. Like, he is the head honcho. But yeah, here's the shots at Rick Ross saying that every song that he ever had that made it on the charts was because of Drake. So spend the money that you got from his Drake stuff and just get out of his face. Leave him alone. And then we even got a little Ja Morant shot right here. No idea where the fucking beef came from there. I think it was rumored that Drake, like, slept with his ex-girlfriend or something like that. But saying that the heartbroken Twitter stuff is for bitches. So that's definitely in reference to that. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, Lord. Boy, that court's going stupid. What the? What, what the hell? No. No. Niggas got me out here talking like I'm 50. Niggas got me out here rapping where I'm living. You better, boy. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. From Drake, I told y'all niggas that, bro. Go back and watch the reaction, bro. I said that, bro. I said that. Go back to the Eminem predicted Drake Futures video. I said that, Rick Rose. You you can't say nothing. This nigga took your girl, literally, nigga. Send her over your tickets, backstage passes. What you think he did with her, man? <laughs> This nigga, bro, only nigga I know do the gritty is John Morant. This nigga dissing John Morant too? <laughs> Like on Ricky, can't believe he jumping in. This 
nigga turning 50. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is why Rick Ross dropped something. Rick, he ain't waste no time either, nigga. He just told you to sit your old ass down. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe he got like eight niggas in the crosshair right now, bro. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Niggas really That's got funny. me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a couple like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart, he got some jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay about my business, nigga. Shout out. My bad, my bad. I know I keep pausing. See, that's what I'm talking about. You are going to lose if you talk resume and numbers, bro. Like, yo, you can't talk about somebody when their name got you in the number one spot. You feel what I'm saying? It's not gonna work for you, yo. And we know what that Drake effect do on a song. We know it, yo. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. Oh. I might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart, he got from Jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. Nigga, fuck it, bro. <laughs> nigga, everybody in the crosshair, nigga. Hey, that nigga took my money in third grade. He on the track, too, nigga. So what? For me, nigga, I'm fed up. <laughs> it's whatever now, nigga. Everybody in the crosshair. Ja Morant on the track, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, I don't know how true this is, right? Um, But there was a rumor where uh, I think Drake was messing with Ja Morant's ex. I don't know how true that is, though. So that's why he was like, we know why you mad, nigga. So... It could be true. Y'all know how this nigga Drake is, bro. He just be busting all kinds of shorties, bro. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> this nigga, yo. Nigga, yo. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. This for all the top dogs. And I might take your latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart, he got from Jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay about my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop. Okay, okay. okay. That was a, a couple lot. of little things. Yeah. I know I heard some, uh, take your latest girl. Who you yeah. talking to? Um, uh. Ricky. Yeah, probably, but he, it was definitely some Rick Ross slander Rick Ross, in there. He said, he said, he said, he can't he believe said he the, dissing, dog, this the, nigga turning 50. The number ones that I gave you, well, the chart, oh, on the yeah, chart. Everything, yeah, on, everything, every on time you chart it, bro, I get, spend your little money and stop with all the dissing. Spend your little money, and that, and then to that little hooper, that'd be gritty. That, the little hooper do the gritty. Who <laughs> gritty in, man? Who <laughs> gritty? You dissing Ja Morant, too? Ja? This is our pocket. Who? This? Ja dunk on your This head, is bro. out of pocket. I bet you he dunk on you. I've never seen... He'd be right here. I never seen it either. I never seen it, uh, basketball players. Get and it. you know he roll with Drake. You know he roll with uh young boy and them Drake. shooting at the cops and shit. Drake <laughs> might be the first one. Well, I ain't gonna say the first. That's getting producers, mm -hmm. rappers. Mm -hmm. Basketball players all in one track, man. He addressing all of them. He talking crazy. Technically about he bringing top into it too. So he getting managers, man. Everything. He getting label owners. This Jay, is twenty Jay Z voice. I'm, I'm I'm real tired. I said I was tired. I said I was tired. I said I was real I'm tired. Real tired. <laughs> <laughs> to the hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me fifty. Drop, drop. And that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot, now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see if top want to piece it up. And that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot, now I'm heating up. Oh, he said the song is not what started beef with us. This shit is being brewing and now I'm heating up. That fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot, now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne trip. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck.
Now what was weak as fuck is called apologizing and taking back the diss track. That's weak as fuck. I'm just saying. <laughs> And I'm pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Okay. Nigga calling top to see the top, wanna piece it up. And that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see the top, wanna piece it up. And that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. Hey. I don't care what cold think that dot. That shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga mm. calling top to see the top, wanna piece it up. And that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being mm. brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see the top, wanna piece it up. And that fucking song y'all got is not starting beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. Hey! We finna go viral again, nigga. We about to go viral, viral again. Nigga, call the top to see a top. Wanna piece it up. Champion going in a pot. Nigga, I ain't gonna be going on what you're doing. Hey, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the business. I don't want you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. I ain't even rapping after this. I'm way too busy. Yeah. It's for all the top dogs dropping. Give me 50. Yeah. And that fucking song I got is not starting beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot. Now I'm heating up. And that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us This shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck Champagne tripping he is not fucking easing up Nigga calling top to see the top wanna piece it up Fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us This shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up I don't care what cold think Oh he said oh shit we That is all me like That we, is all me We ain't about to act like the song is why. Yeah, he said that song ain't got nothing. But, but I'm gonna let him rock, y'all. My bad, my bad. Fall the top dog, drop and give me fifty drop. And that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see the top want to piece it up. Oh, he basically said, hey Cole, I, I, I and I ain't gonna apologize neither. He was talking to you. He said champagne, uh, champagne tripping, and I'm not fucking easing up. Like, I just wanted to put that out there because I caught that too. But did oh, yeah, Drake go where? He was on tour with him, right? Jake yeah, was, was on tour. Yeah, because he they probably noodles and noodles. He probably didn't, and it just, he didn't uh, accept his uh, invite to Dream Fest. Drake probably didn't go. No, nah, he didn't go. I'm sure he did. How many go there? No, I'm just saying he didn't go support. <laughs> He knew what was about to happen. <laughs> he didn't go support. And he said, I don't care what goes like, say. That dot like he said, it been, it I mean, been, that dot was weak as fuck. It been brewing. Like, they It wasn't like the song. It's, it's been brewing it for the a song. long time. You got to let it marinate. It wasn't the song. For it to happen. Don DeMarco. Top, wanna piece it up? Uh, heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see the top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, it's not fucking deep enough. He said, yo, your man's don't even want you to want this. Like, bro, you by yourself now. Sheesh, and he bit off more than he can chew is what Drake is saying. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, it's not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us numbers wise i'm out of here you not fucking creeping up money wise i'm out of here you not fucking sneaking up corn ball your show money merch money feed us Woo! i'ma let you niggas work it out because i seen enough this ain't even everything i know don't wait the demon up this ain't even everything i know don't wait the demon up drop and give me 50 all you fuck niggas teaming up what pop have you smoking on kendrick Ooh! 
Was he basically saying like Kendrick drop? Was he begging him to drop at the end? It's your boy. Yeah, that's my boy. Nigga. We rep the same smart tech. You just got fucked up with him. Both y'all niggas gonna get clapped up when I get back. Both of y'all niggas. What? What did I do? It don't fucking matter. Yeah. Oh. Well, aim high, Willis. Aim high. Man, I was so tired of hearing the snippets. I heard that Metro Boomin line, you know, uh, go make some drums, nigga. I heard that line and was like, bro, I have to go hit this record. Uh, I haven't really been listening to hip hop, honestly, any music, if I'm being honest, in a while. But, man, I could, I could not. I kept seeing this in my timeline. And I'm like, bro, I'm tired of hearing snippets. We gotta hit a full thing. And I know I'm late to the party. Yeah, man, I will say that Drake, bro, he was not playing. Huh, you know what I mean? J. Cole let Nas down, but Drake, he showed up. You know what I mean? And I'm looking at the top comments right here. It said, Metro got the most disrespectful line out of the Hell yeah! Hell yeah, bro. Oh my gosh. People gonna be saying that in the club now? Dog, Drake is fake. He's good at that. That's the biggest issue. The fact that not only will he dish you, but he gonna make the whole world sing it. He insinuated, look, man, I'm so big that I'm y'all in the States. I'm out here. Until, I'm big in Japan, bro. Like... Y'all was talking this. He was talking ish. Somebody said, this is not Drake. This is Drizzy for sure. And uh, this is the Drake that Wayne signed. Definitely making Wayne proud. Definitely wake, make, making Wayne proud. Somebody else said, Ross heard this and instantly told me, drop and give me Diddy. <laughs> Bro, y'all are foul. You know, but also he talked about pretty much how it's a 20 v1 he got everybody coming out trying to uh uh go against drake right now and then he even responded to the king line um i mean the prince and the king line i think he, he said something about like it was uh, one versus 20 uh what's a king to what's a prince to a king uh son damn dog Sunned him. How he reflipped the bar back on him. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Drake, you got this one. I'm not gonna lie. Top on a piece of the top on a piece of the now nah, pussy. Now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this and not fucking deep enough. Begging cops and not. You done roll deep to this, but not fucking deep enough. Damn. On when you speaking up, you don't roll deep to this. You're not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating. Did he just say cops or not? You don't roll deep to this. You're not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. What the fuck does Kai not have to do with this? Y'all let me know. Bro, D to this is not fucking deep enough. Begging Kai Sinat, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. Drop and give me 50, all you fuck niggas teaming up. What top five you smoking on Kendrick? He said, what top five you smoking on Kendrick? Mm, yeah, drop, 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 drop Drop a 50 bag for the mob in a spot Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the guard uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG <laughs> uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG He said this is not all I know. Don't wake the demon up. Twice. He repeated it. Like, you better hear me. Y'all know I know a lot more than what I'm saying in this track right here. I don't think this is AI. I think this is really Drake. Top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Hey. This is, I'm so happy about this. I don't even care this nigga just broke the damn golden rule on this motherfucker. Like. It's like, this is really happening. Drake about that life. Drake is that nigga. I, I like Drake now. I like Drake now. It's official. Uh, I, uh, is Drake the king of hip-hop? I think these niggas is battling for the crown. These niggas is literally battling for the crown. Hold the fuck on. I'm telling you, I don't care what nobody say. Whoever win this beef, they officially the king of hip-hop. Uh, it don't. It, it's just weird giving it to Drake because he's a singing dude and he don't. He not a lyricist. Kinda, 
kinda. I don't want to downplay him too much, but he's just not on that level. Like you can't, you can't go from Jay Z to Drake. I'm sorry, man. When it comes to sales and popularity, yeah, but no, it's like it make more sense Kendrick. Which obviously, if Kendrick come back, he's probably gonna destroy this shit. It, it is what it is. But for right now, my nigga, this is heat. Just calling top to see the top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here. Who was begging Kai? Who he talking about? Because I, I know Kendrick wasn't. I know that for a fact. Ross? I can't see that. Metro? Who the fuck was begging Kai to get on stream or something like that? That's wild. You not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money. Merch money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me 50. All you fuck niggas teaming up. What type of you smoking on, Kendrick? Also, he got more in the tuck. <laughs> he just lets you know that he got another one ready already. If he do another back to back on Kendrick, damn man, I think I've been sleeping on Drake. I, th I like Drake now. I don't give a fuck. It's that simple to to make me start liking you. This one of the best rappers ever. They are stand up for yourself. Don't get bullied. Top wanna piece it up, top wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you not fucking deep enough. Making cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Hey. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you. Your show money is merch money, feed us? <laughs> Did he say Kai Sinat? I thought I heard that. Begging Kai Sinat, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here. I don't know what he said. Did he say begging Kai Sinat? Begging Kai Sinat, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here. You not. It's crazy that labels treat Kai Sinat and Aiden Ross like A and R's now, or like press tours. Like literally, if you're putting out an album or a track, you go to their shit. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. Merch I'ma money let you niggas work wild. it out because I've seen enough. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait the demon up. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me 50, all you fuck niggas teaming up. What type of you smoking on, Kendrick? Top, wanna piece it up? Top, wanna piece it up? Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You oh my god! You this is not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, wow. I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. <laughs> I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait the demon up. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me 50, all you fuck niggas. Damn, dude, up. he's fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little beat switch. Oh, this yeah, is the end. Okay, hold on. I want to talk about some other stuff. But yeah, him saying the like that verse was not the start of the beef. It's been brewing for a long ass time. And then he even addresses the whole J. Cole situation, apologizing for seven minute drill. And he's saying that dot shit was weak as fuck. Is he saying that J. Cole apologizing was weak as fuck? But he says that dot shit, as in K. Dot, was weak as fuck. So talking about maybe some of the albums that J. Cole said were weak. So maybe he's saying like, despite J. Cole not actually thinking that, he was right in to say those albums sucked ass. Champagne trip, and he's not fucking easing up. Drake is champagne poppy on Instagram. So he's saying he's not easing up. Then we got some bars about TDE potentially wanting to make peace with Drake. He's like, nah, fuck that. You're on your own if you want to speak to me. Not your label, just you. Saying he rolled deep to the beef because it's the 20v1 and it's not deep enough. You're going to need another 20, probably another 100 guys to come at me to help take me down. And then again, just flexing like number-wise, money-wise, fan-wise, you're never going to catch up to me. And then even saying that the money that Kendrick makes for a show is just a fee to put on the merch sales for Drake. Like it doesn't even come close to the money that Drake has. But yeah, let me see what this little beat switch is about here. What? <laughs> Why are you smoking on Kendrick? <laughs> mm, mm. Smoking on Kendrick. 
smoking on top vibes. Singing a little bit. Trying to keep it PG. Okay, maybe is that like a little snippet of the next one that might happen? Is it gonna go back to back again? I don't fucking know. Top one, piece it up. Top one, piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this. It's not fucking deep enough. They ain't got to when you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your... Yo, this nigga, bro. Dre, you the go, boy. Dre, you the go with this diss track shit, boy. Hey, I'm standing on that. Hey, ain't nobody fucking with Drake, bro. When it comes to these diss tracks, ain't nobody rocking with Drake, bro. This nigga popping this shit, how he supposed to pop it, nigga. This is what I'm talking about, Drake. This is what I'm talking about, nigga. Make sure y'all clip this, too. Since y'all say I be hating on Drake, nah, nigga. Drake, this is what we want right here, nigga. October's very own, nigga. Nigga say y'all niggas claiming it's six, y'all ain't even from there. Then when y'all get that money, y'all get to running from them. <laughs> yo, yo, what the, bro, what's going on? Well, we can spot champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga caught a top to see a top on a piece of the, top on a piece of the, top on a piece of the. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, it's not fucking deep enough. They ain't passing out when you not fucking beating us. Numbers pass on my day, you not fucking creeping up. Money pass on my Show money is merch money for oh my god. Y'all know y'all can't talk money with Drake, bro. Dre, thank you, nigga. Thank you. This is what we've been waiting on. The internet finna go crazy. The internet is finna go ballistic, nigga. Top on a piece of the, top on a piece of the. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you're not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you know. Nigga, cornball, nigga, your show money is merch money to You cannot talk numbers. I... Yo, that's where you lose, bro. Huh. Shout out to Kai said that for getting name dropped to this too, yo. That is tough, bro. And that fucking song y'all got did not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne. You already know he is not apologizing. But yes, we know, um, bro, they've been taking sneak jabs at each other for years. So that's why he was like, bro, this joint been brewing. <laughs> for a while and I don't care what Cole said nigga I said that joint weak and that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us this shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up I don't care what Cole think that dot shit was weak as fuck champagne tripping he is not fucking easing up nigga calling top to see a top want a piece of the top want a piece of the top yes. want a piece of the nah pussy now you on your own when you speaking up you don't roll deep to this is not fucking deep enough they all right, my bad one more time. When he said the top uh, piecing up, he was talking about, um, y'all know Kendrick got released from TDE. So he was pretty much saying like, Kendrick calling the TDE to make peace to join again, pretty much. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see a top, want a piece of the top, want a piece of the top, want a piece of the nah, pussy. Now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out. Stop there. When he said begging Kai Sinet, um, I wonder if you're talking about the whole Kanye situation. I don't know if y'all heard that uh Kanye and Kai got into an argument. Begging Kai Sinet, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me fifty, all you fuck niggas teaming up. What top five you smoking on Kendrick? Mm, mm, yeah. Drop, 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 drop a 50 bag for the mob 
PG. Top on a piece of the top on a piece of the now nah, pussy. Now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers, why? Oh, you lost me with that one. He said, begging Kaiser not. Kaiser not. He Ka called Kaiser not. He put a little Ooh. break on it. Kaiser not. Yeah, that sounds like a damn. Uh, you done threw hotel. Kai in it. <laughs> Kai yeah, probably sitting somewhere like, hey, this phone gonna start. Whoa! Hey, remember uh, with, no. with, uh, uh, who my, with Kanye manager? Yeah, man. Yeah, you ain't yeah. Leave him alone. Leave Kyle alone. Man, that Y'all rappers, he, leave Kyle. He just, he just, he just, you feel me? He just streaming, man. Just to leave him leave alone. Him, don't do that to that man. <laughs> this is World War Three, and he four foot three. Chill. To the top, on a piece of the Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up You don't roll deep to this, you not fucking deep enough Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up Corn by your show money, merch money, feed us I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough This ain't even everything I know, don't wait the demon up This ain't even everything I know, don't wait the demon up Drop and give me 50, all you fuck niggas teaming up Really, really trying to keep it PG. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, really, really trying, trying to keep, keep it PG. PG. Hey, listen, we ain't finna over whoop this. Then we ain't. Shout out to J Man. See y'all get mad. He did what he did. <laughs> he said what he said. Everybody was like, "Oh, now the Cole's gone. Drake's gotta say something." Drake said something, even though he didn't say it directly. He leaked it. I just like when the clock get put on other people. Yes, it's like transfer. I'm sick of the clock sitting in one transfer. Area. Transfer the clock back. Transfer. Cause we gonna make sure that y'all know where the clock is at. We just we just here for the war. And um, Rick Ross. And keep it rap, y'all. Um, Ja Morant, don't do nothing. You still gotta get back on the court. Yeah, don't respond. Um, don't do nothing. That's that's a setup. You stay where you at. Never hoop um, again. J Cole, you be playing basketball in Pelican Bay. <laughs> J Cole, this is all I can do to you, J Cole. Um. <sighs> and I gotta say, my level of respect for Drake has just went way up because he is uh like he said 20 v 1 20 people versus one he's uh getting dissed by several people and he's having to go at all of them dolo <laughs> and i think he did a damn good job the beats fire he has some hard hitting punches in there that how the fuck you big stepping with a size seven man's on <laughs> that's crazy a size seven and me, I, ha I have a bigger foot than that. I'm just saying, that's a small ass foot. <laughs> but, oh, who do I think has the better? I, Katie, I don't even know who has the better. Because Kendrick, oh my God. But Drake came back and he rebuttaled everything Kendrick said. Dissed everybody. Both beats were equally fire. I like this beat a little better. I don't know, man. I don't know. Drake did impress the shit out of me. Kendrick only had one verse, whereas Drake did a full song. But Drake was going at everybody, not just Kendrick. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's a tie for me, for real, between Kendrick's verse and this. It really is. Both of them's fire. Drake really impressed me i love it holy mother of i didn't think drake had it in it mothers in the whole motherland bitches <laughs> hey salute to you drake much respect now don't be apologizing and taking it back and shit because that'll be weak don't be like j cole Please. And that, uh, I might cuff his latest bitch like Ricky. That was a good bar. I mean, he has several nice bars in there that, uh, you in the scope right now. You go feel the aftermath of what I write down. That was fire. There were several, several good, hard, uh, in there. I liked it. I loved it. Salute to Drake.
I'm impressed and shocked because I've never seen the side of Drake. So, yeah. Do y'all think it's AI? I don't. I don't. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. I think this is the best rap beef we've had since the whole Lupe, Royce, Mickey Fax, all that. And then prior to that would be Eminem and MGK, I think, that I can think of off the top of my head. So, yeah. All right. See, like that shit right there, that is not Drake's voice. I'm sorry to tell you. I was really trying to keep shit PG, though. PJ, PG Lane, you're telling me that Drake sense sounds like this when he sings? That huh is not even strong enough, like alone. I mean. Shit is gas. It's a good fucking diss, right? Like it's it's it. This is what motherfuckers thought the control verse on Big Sean shit was. Motherfuckers swore that that verse was this verse. If the way everybody reacted to the control verse, that's how they should be reacting to this verse. Uh, it's fire. It's fire, but I don't think it's him. Turns out Drake was AI all along. Maybe the AI, maybe the AI was the Drakes we made along the way. <laughs> is AI in the room with us? Uh, yeah, I think it's AI. It's really hard to say just because it's not like officially on a lossless platform like Apple Music or like or on official platforms that have WAV files. I feel like it's not Drake's nature, especially when he disses. I feel like it's not Drake's nature to just release a leak. I feel like he would just put the fucking song out. People that need leaks are people that not at Drake's size or caliber or consistency or quality of music. Leaks are to like test out. Uh, so like when Jack Harlow put out that shit, like a leak like that or a snippet is like to test out the waters. Not necessarily like Drake doesn't need to do that. It's a ghostwriter. If Kanye West doesn't think that Drake ghostwrites and he has a legitimate beef with him, why the fuck would anybody else think that? I don't believe it's Drake, personally. Academics has been known to just hype shit just to get the views and just to be just to be a clickbait farmer. Him saying that this is the official, he got the mastered version or whatever. Academics is the boy who cried wolf, bro. Academics is the boy who cried wolf. I don't believe you, sir. I don't believe you because your track record doesn't allow me to believe you type shit. No disrespect. Bring me on the shit if you want to debate, academics. I really feel like if Drake does slay the entire music industry and then John Morant catches a stray in there out of nowhere, I feel like if he does that, then there's no fucking debate. He's the greatest rapper of all time. There's no debate to be had. He's a better rapper than Tupac and Biggie. Most rappers are better. Nah, I don't know about better. He is on par. Okay, I said better last time, but he is on par with Tupac and Biggie. He's on par with Andre 3000. He's on par with anybody that you hold in high regard. He is on par, if not better than that rapper. Motherfuckers don't want to admit it. They always want to cope with the, they always want to cope with the fucking, oh, he's got, he's got ghostwriters. Ghostwriters wrote that for him. You know who, you know who says that? You know who says that ghostwriters write? You know who says that Drake is a pop artist and he just happens to rap? You know who says these kind of things? People that don't listen to Drake. That's who says those things. Because if you listen to Drake, you're like, there's no fucking way that you're really saying that. Like, if you truly listen with an unbiased ear, there's no way that you're saying that. What will you do if K-Dot dismantles him? I don't think he will is the problem. I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of ammunition that you could use toward Drake. I'll give you that. A lot of ammunition that you could use toward Drake. You can use the pop shit. He could, he could rebuttal and say, I did rap verses on pop albums. You put out entire pop albums. Like, that is an easy rebuttal right there. You could talk about the baby mom being a porn star. You could talk about Adonis looking like an albino child, if you want to stoop that low. Uh, you could talk, about, could talk about the ghostwriters if you want to bring that up, but I don't, think that, I don't think that Kendrick would do that just because he actually knows that Drake writes his bars. Uh, there's, there's just a lot to say toward Drake because he is a, he literally called himself a pop star, not a doctor <laughs> in the song pop star. But all right, that was push-ups and man, Drake is rapping rap. I love when he raps like that. Dude just needs to be pissed off more. But yeah, that was absolutely more than sufficient enough of a response to the like that verse from Kendrick. And I'm already hearing that Kendrick has something that he's got ready to drop. So this could just be going back and forth like crazy. And you already know that I'm here for it. I think it was fucking awesome. Again, nothing too crazy personal. I don't feel like Metro booming probably Probably caught the funniest bar of all of them. But yeah, we'll see what happens out of this. Oh my god, he did everybody. This nigga did everybody. Nigga, 
nigga said, this ain't even all I know. Don't wake the demon up. Don't make me really put it out there. Oh, man. He basically giving you a warning like cold, nigga. Nigga, I don't care what cold say, nigga. That dodged you a week. <laughs> Yo! Hey, I love this nigga Drake, bro. I love this nigga for this right here, boy. Drake, you got my respect forever, dog. You got my respect forever, dog. Real talk, man. Said, this is the closest thing y'all get to a feature now. Back to the gang, cause you know a lot of y'all nick same niggas been reaching out. <laughs> he said it's over with. Jersey said it's over with. Y'all niggas wanna team up? Stay on that side, nigga. Yo, we still don't trust you, nigga. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Who else? Oh, Max Rowe? Them drums, man. Future? I don't know. I ain't gonna say nothing. Free I'll back. You, Future. Free back. Guy, Free back. Aubrey spoke, man. We out here, man. Uh huh. No. Somebody out there called that weak. I know they did. I know it, yo. I'm gonna say this again. For Drake, that is not weak. That is actually a solid response. I'm gonna keep saying it. And of course, it wasn't the most lyrical. I get it. But for a diss, he rebuttaled everybody. That is one of the most important parts of this, bro. He did more than enough for somebody to respond easily. And based off the ending, that also sounded like a warning shot. He said he know more, yo. Do not wake the demon up. Okay, now that I heard the whole thing, now I can say my comment. That is not a nuke. I give that, that's not an eight above, but I definitely say like a solid seven. If you wanna go a six, that's fine. But if you say you're five or below, nigga, you are a hater. So a six or seven ain't good enough to beat K-Dot. Now, if K-Dot drops a nuke, Mike can say goodbye to this song. Then Drake will have to go back, and then Drake will really have to talk on that one. Like, he would have to drop a nuke. We talking K-Dot. You already know this nigga Drake gonna respond. Honestly, for a 10v1, yo, I'm telling y'all, bro, that's a solid response, bro. That, that sound like some shit Drake would say, bro. There's no way. There's no way that's really Drake, bro. There's no way that's really Drake, dog. Um, let me look what y'all saying in the comments, dog. But yeah, that's, that shit was ass cheeks, buns. I mean, it was an excellent attempt to sound like Drake. Whoever tried to imitate Drake on this shit, bro, job well done, bro. Um, but as far as the expectations I have for Drake and as far as what he's going to need to do to win this, this got to be some fucking bullshit AI, dog. This, I wouldn't be surprised if a little 13 year old went on this motherfucker with some AI trying to sound like Drake just to get the fucking views, bro. So I'm surprised why people are sharing this shit like that. I mean, it makes sense because I mean, everybody trying to get on the Drake wave like I am now I'm trying to get ahead of this shit, bro. But, um, I think this was a waste of time. I think this was a waste of time. See, it's taken down. This video contains content from Foundation Media LLC who has blocked it on copyright grounds. Bro, that better not be Drake, dog. That better not be Drake, bro. The fuck? <laughs> nah, I'm saying, bro. Get the hell out of here, man. This shit is garbage. Ah. <sighs> If anything, no, it can't be. I, I, I refuse. I refuse to even entertain that idea, dog. I refuse to even entertain that idea, bro. Like, nah, dog. I, 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 
Drake, you cannot rap with K-Dot, bro, but you are definitely better than this, bro. So there's no way. There's absolutely no fucking way. No way. <laughs> no way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. <sighs> All right, man. Um, I'm out. Right now, they saying this new diss. It's an AI version. I mean, I don't know if it's AI or not, but apparently Kendrick is supposed to respond. And hey, let's play this snippet real quick. That's why I'm making <laughs> Now they deleted threats Damn. One rap nigga dead laid on the floor And I didn't even have to throw bullets for him to go Now that we got that out of the way, it's one more to go Stop wasting time, let's get the show on the road Niggas was ignoring repeat disses And when they give us why they entertained it as sweet disses And now that it's direct, it's leaked disses From burner pages and all Insecure behavior from niggas, y'all call guards I know that you were sensitive and emphasis on lame Seeking validation from rap critics, slandering names Legacy forever cemented, I will reign The next move, make your best move, is detrimental uh, Glad big locks when you see K-Dot Better call ghost riders just to beat K-Dot I came with a full clip, but only need one shot No big three, just dynamic uno K-Dot, K-Dot Okay now, we can't verify whether this is AI or not, but, you know, I'll get my thoughts. Oh, man, I, I'm just saying this. He had some, it was some lines in there, you know, that was like, you know, it was decent. A couple of these, but, bro, this B ain't gonna do it for you. I, I see what he going with it, though. I heard the hospital, uh, the heart love monitor going off as a snare, and maybe that was him saying, you know, that was some, some sort of metaphor for killing rappers or keeping rap alive or something like that maybe but outside of that i don't know i don't know kendrick you can't go into your d-bag on this dog you got to go full force bro now i'm gonna just go ahead and say this is ai for now okay we're just gonna say this is ai for now we we you can't do that you got to come back strong bro you know what i mean you don't woke him up what you gonna do i tell you one thing though i wish j cole apology was ai <laughs> So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, no, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because... Y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, big boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Text flooded, I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Right? <laughs> Niggas wanna see blood. And and I was conflicted because one, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And like I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone taste, taste their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back, and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk. That shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel. That shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle 
and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm gonna take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. I am neutral now. All right, the last time I voted for a nigga, he apologized. I'm cooked. We out the game. <laughs> All right, my nigga folded. We're done. What was weak as fuck is called apologizing and taking back the diss track. That's weak as fuck. He doing that and, and don't apologize afterwards like a little bitch. Yeah. Hey.